pay in the United States military, it's not the greatest, especially for maybe some of the danger you might be in in certain scenarios. And you might often see some individuals telling people that it's better to just go work at, let's say Walmart or go get a job at Amazon because you're gonna make more money in, than joining the military. But is that really true? Is that really the case? Could I have just gone and gotten a job at Walmart and made better money than being a soldier in the United States Army or being a young individual in the military? Well, it's a pretty complicated type of thing and it takes a little bit to kind of break down, so try to bear with me, but I'm gonna do my best to try to explain if that is true or if that is not true and why. So if that is something you're interested in, well then, stick around. So I'm not trying to say that being in the army, being in the military is a better lifestyle than going to work at some civilian employment. And I'm not saying that being at some civilian employment is better than being in the army. All we're focusing on for this video is the pay wise, because that is a common argument that I see individuals saying is saying that you'd be better off just going and working at this location because you're gonna make more money. And if you're fresh out of high school, your entry level, so going into the military entry level or going into a civilian job entry level is not the same as, you know, you going to work at a big corporation because you got a college education, stuff like that. Sure, of course, then you're definitely probably gonna be making better money because you're college educated, you've got experience, all that kind of stuff. But for our example here that we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be focusing on the scenario of an individual that is fresh out of high school. Is it better for them to join the military pay wise or to go get a civilian job because they'd make better money on the civilian side? So we're gonna look into the multiverse of things. We're gonna assume that there is these three different multiverses, each a young Christopher Chaos is either joining the military or not joining the military. So we've got the multiverse where Christopher Chaos goes into the army as a single soldier, as an E2, and we're gonna use the example as an E2 because it's just a good starting point. You can very easily join the army as an E2 by doing a few things with your recruiter, and you're probably not even still an E2 for very long. But nonetheless, that's gonna be our, our baseline because it's kind of entry level-ish, but we don't need to start all the way down to E1. So you got Christopher Chaos in this one multiverse that he's a E2 single soldier stationed in Fort Carson, Colorado. We have second multiverse where we have Christopher Chaos. He's married, also stationed in Fort Carson in Colorado. And then there's the third multiverse. There is this Christopher Chaos that decided that instead of joining the military, I'm just gonna go get a job at Amazon or Walmart. And those are the two companies we're gonna use as, as the examples that we're gonna talk about. But that individual decided not to join the military and lives in Colorado Springs and works at either Amazon or Walmart. So we're gonna use Amazon and Walmart as an example because in the research that I looked up, those are one, the most common one that people make a comment about saying you'd be making better money working at Walmart or you'd be making better money working at, uh, working at Amazon. But in my research in the Colorado Springs area, both those jobs, whether you're a cashier at Walmart or working in the warehouse at Amazon Warehouse in Colorado, Colorado Springs, you know, packing boxes is roughly the same pay. So that's gonna be the kind of example that we'll utilize for this, especially since that's also the common one that people comment about. So looking at how all these different Christopher Chaos in the multiverse is getting paid. So starting off, we have E2 Christopher Chaos that joined the army and that Christopher Chaos is making $2,261.10 per month before taxes get taken out. We'll get to what it looks like after taxes here in a minute, but starting off before taxes, okay? Next, you have Christopher Chaos that's married and that's the only income they have is from Christopher Chaos, we'll say in this example, because this Christopher Chaos's spouse does not work. And in that case, that Christopher Chaos is making $4,359.35. Also keep in mind, this is also off of the 2024 pay rate for the pay charts for the military. But the reason why this is so much higher than a single individual is because if you're not aware in the military, you get paid extra for housing and for food. So the rate for housing depends on your location and for Colorado Springs, it's like 1,000 or 1,200 or something like that for an E2, I forget what it was exactly, but nonetheless, that is calculated into this $4,359 is it's getting that 2,261 because it's the same rank E2, but in addition, because this Christopher Chaos is married, he's also receiving extra money for housing and extra money for food 
and that housing is based on that location. And then you have the Christopher Chaos that decided to just go get a job at Walmart or Amazon, and we're combining those two together because I looked at job listings in Colorado Springs currently, right? And I found that for both Walmart and for Amazon working in the warehouse, the price range for how much individuals were getting paid starting off was anywhere between $15 an hour and $20 an hour. So this is young Christopher Chaos. It's fresh out of high school. He doesn't have any experience doing anything else, but he was lucky enough to not get the bare minimum. So we'll go with a happy medium of $17 an hour. So at $17 an hour, he is making $2,944.40. So now we know what they're getting paid, but obviously you should probably know that that's not what you're getting in your bank account because taxes have to get taken out. So we have some estimates as far as how taxes might be taken out considering an individual living in Colorado. Now that matters because in the military, taxes for like state taxes work differently depending on where you're from and where you're still kind of considered a resident. For the sake of these three multiverses, we're gonna say that this Christopher Chaos is from Colorado, lives in Colorado, all that kind of stuff, Colorado resident. So for tax purposes, we're going off of Colorado. If we were going off of real life Christopher Chaos, well, real life Christopher Chaos is from California. So in that case, in the military, I would have to pay state taxes for California. But if you're an individual that's let's say from Nevada, that doesn't have state income tax that is taken out of your paycheck, then they don't tax it for state taxes. They just have federal coming out. So it does vary based on, you know, where your home of records at, where you're considered a resident of, even though you're stationed somewhere else, you still pay the state taxes based on where you claim to be your state of residency. So for the sake of this, this Christopher chaos, is from Colorado and is a Colorado resident. So single Christopher Chaos after taxes is making roughly $1,713.91. We take a look at married Christopher Chaos. He's bringing in $3,812.16 after taxes, but there's a key thing you need to understand about how it works if you're married. If you are married, you're still receiving that same, that same base pay, right? But you're receiving those two extra benefits for housing and food. The housing and the food allowances that you're receiving, that part is not taxed. So in this example here, the tax rate is not coming off of that $4,359 they're being taxed on this $2,261 for the pay grade of an E2. So that is the only part that's being taxed. So this number is not gonna come out to be the same number that you might come up to if you're kind of looking at this number as far as like taking out state taxes, taking out federal income and all this stuff out of this number because that number is not what's being taxed. It's actually gonna be this $2,000 number and then those extra benefits for housing and food are not taxed. So then taking a look at Christopher Chaos that decided to work at Walmart and Amazon, that's $2,231.86. Wait a minute, that's more money than Christopher Chaos in the multiverse where he's single in the army. But wait, there's more you need to consider because that's not it. You're an adult, you got responsibilities, right? So no, no difference, right? This Christopher Chaos and these three different multiverses have bills to pay, have things they gotta do. So the important thing is, is yes, if you're looking at how much these individuals are getting paid. The Walmart employee individual of Christopher Chaos is making more money than the single E2 Christopher Chaos that is in the army. And then the married Christopher Chaos is the one making the most money. But nonetheless, the money that you can actually use for doing things is what's important, not what's going to your bank account because some of that money has to get used for bills and there's a lot of factors you have to consider. So let's break that part down too. So because you're an adult, you got responsibilities, right? We need a roof over our head. We're not living with mommy and daddy, right? So the Christopher Chaos and these three multiverses is also not living with mommy, daddy. So for the example of single Christopher Chaos, that E2, he lives in the barracks, so he doesn't pay any rent, right? So that's why this number is zero right here is because when you live in the barracks, you don't pay for rent, okay? Now, sure, there can be an argument saying the barracks suck, they're horrible, horrible living conditions. Some are pretty good barracks, some are pretty horrible, but nonetheless, there is a roof over your head, whether it's a great roof or a bad roof, you know, that's subject to your duty assignment and the barracks at that location sometimes, but nonetheless, not paying anything 
for rent. So I don't have to pay anything for this Christopher Chaos, doesn't have to pay anything for rent. Married Christopher Chaos in that other multiverse does have to pay rent, all right? He decided to go live off post, and I did a little bit of research looking online to find the cheapest apartment I could possibly find in Colorado Springs, and I happened to find an apartment that was pretty decent for $799 a month. Real basic, it's got a living room, it's got a kitchen, it's got a bathroom, and it's got a bedroom, right? That'll, that'll do the job just fine, okay? So that Christopher Chaos is living off post, he has to pay rent still. If that Christopher Chaos wanted to live on post, then the army is going to take their entire BAH, right? Not just what that place is worth that they're staying on. They're going to take their entire BAH. And in the case of like Colorado, if it being like whatever it is, $1,200 or whatever it is, the place that this Christopher Chaos that's an E2 that's just him and his spouse is going to live in is probably not worth that $1,200. So it's probably a better deal to just go get an apartment off post and get the full BAH and use that BAH, that allowance for housing to pay for your rent and other things you need to pay for. So that's what this Christopher Chaos is doing. It's got that $799 rent that he has to pay. And in the multiverse of Christopher Chaos working at Walmart, Amazon, same apartment complex, right? So they also have that $799 a month bill to pay for uh, for that apartment that he's staying in. Next up, I gotta pay utilities. I gotta have that electricity for that place I'm staying in. I gotta pay for the water, pay for the gas for heating or whatever the case is. So for the Christopher Chaos that's living in the barracks, well, it doesn't matter. There is no bill for that individual because it doesn't matter if he goes and leaves the AC on, the heater on all day leaves a bathtub running all day with a pirate ship floating in it, whatever, you can, whatever floats the boat type of thing, I guess, literally in this case. There's no utilities. If you live in the barracks in the army, you don't pay utilities. So that is not an expense that that Christopher Chaos has to worry about. Now, both the Christopher Chaos that is in the army and married and the Christopher Chaos that works at Amazon Walmart, they have an apartment, so they do have to pay utilities. So I looked at the average for Colorado Springs and I come up with the amount of $170 as a good average kind of price point for utilities per month in Colorado Springs area. Obviously that number is gonna fluctuate, you know, if you're using the heater more, using the AC more, you know, or maybe there's, you know, cooler days in the summertime that you're not running the AC and you know, you got a cheaper utility bill, but somewhere in the medium kind of average area, 170 bucks is a good kind of average utility bill kind of price to pay for that water, electricity, and gas. Now that Christopher Chaos has to eat. So the single Christopher Chaos that is living in the barracks, they are having $66 taken out of their pay. Now, you probably have heard before how soldiers can eat in the dining facility in that chow hall to be able to get food three times a day, every day of the of the month and year, whatever kind of a thing, in that dining facility essentially for free. But when you kind of break it down exactly, they do actually take out $66 roughly out of that soldier's pay. I have a video that talks about that. A card pops up that you can go watch and you can see the full breakdown of as far as how that actually works. But without going into it, that explanation in this video, just know that single Christopher Chaos does have about $66 being taken out of that base pay to be able to give them that opportunity to be able to eat in the chow hall for breakfast, lunch, and dinner three times a day, you know, you got that those meals every day of the month. But married Christopher Chaos and that single Christopher Chaos working at Amazon Walmart, they, they gotta pay for their own food, they gotta pay for their own groceries. And based on my estimates that I did, roughly about $300 a person per month would probably be the average for groceries, obviously a little bit less, a little bit more, depending on dietary kind of preferences or whatever, but probably a good rough estimate of an average, about $300 a month. So since married Christopher Chaos has a spouse, he's spending $600 a month, whereas single Christopher Chaos working at Amazon Walmart is by himself, so he's only paying $300 a month. The next factor you have to think about is probably maybe transportation, okay? We're gonna go with like the perfect scenario. We're gonna say that, you know, this Christopher Chaos and all three of the multiverses does not have a car payment. Maybe he got a car when he was in high school, he bought a cheap car while he was in high school, you know, type of thing, so it's paid for, but nonetheless, still got car insurance. And at 18, 19, you know, young age before you're 25, car insurance can be pretty expensive because you haven't built up a good enough reputation, or re reputation rather, to be able to get cheaper car insurance. So you typically have a higher car insurance rate. But single Christopher Chaos, well, he lives in the barracks and at his unit, 
his offices and motor pool are just right across the street from the barracks, which can be a, a situation that you run into, but you can also end up in a situation where your barracks are way the hell out there and it's not within walking distance to get to the motor pool or whatever. So then you might need a car or you might need to catch a ride. But for this scenario, just for simplicity purposes, we're gonna say, which can be pretty common in some cases, depending on the units, Christopher Chaos's barracks are right there and the motor pool's right across the street. So he can just walk. He doesn't need a car. He's got a bike. He's got a skateboard, whatever, and uh, doesn't have to worry about car insurance. Now, married Christopher Chaos is not gonna have that ability to be able to kind of like take down that luxury type of thing and be able to walk to work because even if he lives on post type of thing, where they usually have on post housing for individuals is not in a convenient location where you could easily walk to the motor pool or anything. It's pretty far away. And they do have sometimes post shuttles, but the post shuttle is not gonna be reliable enough to probably get him to work on time, especially not for morning PT because the shuttle is probably not gonna be running that early in the morning. So at the minimum, that individual, that Christopher Chaos is gonna need to have at least one car. And so for that one car that he shares with his spouse, about 250 bucks probably a month for car insurance because like I said, he's young, car insurance isn't too cheap when you're young. But the single Christopher Chaos working at Walmart, Amazon and that multiverse, maybe lives within a convenient location to be able to take public transportation because that is available to that individual where you know the end even the indiv individual that lives off post married can't use public transportation to get him on post on time for pt plus public transportation doesn't take you on post it might take you nearby and then you have to try to figure out a way to get the rest of the way from the gate so even that wouldn't work for the married individual but for the single individual that doesn't have to worry about gates to get on post and super early times for that kind of situation unless they got a morning shift or super early shift but for this example it might be a little bit more plausible for that Christopher Chaos to not have a car just like the single Christopher Chaos in the army has and can just take public transportation. So maybe just has to pay for a bus pass or something along those lines, or maybe walks or rides a bike to get to work. Now, there can be a lot more factors, right? Cell phone, internet, uh, medical insurance could be one, but for this kind of situation, you know, both married Christopher Chaos and single Christopher Chaos in the military gets free healthcare through TRICARE, but single Christopher Chaos working at Walmart and Amazon doesn't make a whole lot of money, so possibly qualifies for like uh, Medicaid to be able to get free medical insurance anyways, so then ends up being a wash anyways. So we won't factor in medical, but that may be a little bit bigger of a situation if you were looking at a higher paying job that you no longer qualify for Medicaid for. So nonetheless, right, there could be other possibilities. So you kind of get the idea as far as where I'm going here, because the key ones here to be able to point out is like rent and utilities, especially for that individual that's single and for the individual that's married in the army that's receiving extra pay. But now let's find out how much each of those individuals in those three different multiverses are actually paying per month. So in this example, that single Christopher Chaos lives in the barracks, only is paying $66 out of their, their pay because that's all that's coming out because they don't have a car, they don't have to pay rent, they don't have to pay utilities. Married Christopher Chaos has more bills, so $1,819 is roughly what that individual is paying per month. And then single Christopher Chaos that works at Amazon Walmart, $1,269 per month. So in this example, married Christopher Christopher Chaos has more bills than anybody else. And then, you know, single Christopher Chaos working at Walmart and Amazon has the second most bills where the single Christopher Chaos has the least amount of bills. So now the important thing, how much money does Christopher Chaos in these three different multiverses have left in their bank account to be able to have a little bit of fun, to buy a PlayStation game, to buy some energy drinks, to go to the movies and have a good time? Or maybe even in the case of how much money does either of these three individuals have left over to be able to, you know, pay for internet, pay for a cell phone, make a car payment, that kind of a thing. So single Christopher Chaos living in the barracks now has $1,647 left in their bank account. Married Christopher Chaos, well, he's got $1,993 left in his bank account. And then drum roll, please, as Amazon Walmart employee Christopher Chaos, he's got $962 left in his bank account. So he's definitely with, left with the least amount of money in his bank account. The reason for that is, of course, well, Single Christopher Chaos had a free place to live because he lived in the barracks. Married Christopher Chaos in the army is receiving extra pay to cover rent and food and everything. Whereas single Christopher Chaos working at Walmart, Amazon is not receiving any kind of extra money to pay for their rent. They have to use what they're getting paid. So from this example here, you can see that the person working at Walmart, Amazon type of thing, an entry level job that pays, let's say $17 an hour is definitely not 
left over with more money than any of those other individuals. So while you look at it as far as, you know, that that basic pay, that pay chart, people are like, man, I can make more than that at Amazon or Walmart. Sure, but you also have to factor in the bills that you have to pay. And in this case, because those individuals are either living rent free or getting paid extra to pay for their rent, in the end, they end up with more money in their bank account to be able to do what they want to do than the person that took the higher paying job working at Walmart or Amazon. So then with these leftover numbers, you know, if there's more bills that you might have type of thing, you got a car payment, you got a cell phone bill, you got internet, you got a Netflix, whatever kind of a thing, then you can look at these numbers to see what you would have in the end. Because as you can see, those married individuals or even that single individual in the army still has more money left over in their bank account than that person working at Walmart or Amazon. Now, if you really wanted to capitalize on things, which I'm not encouraging you to like rush into marriage or anything else like that, but really if you wanted an even higher number than any of these three, if you were in the military and your spouse was also in the military, then you're really making pretty darn good money. Because in that case, like let's say in this example of E2 one, you both would be making, let's say you're both E2s, right? So you're both getting uh, that E2 base pay, but you're also both getting that benefit for food, but you don't both get that housing allowance. But it's what does happen is whoever is considered to be the higher ranking individual gets that full housing allowance for that area and the lower ranking individual ends up getting half. So nonetheless, making pretty damn good money. But like I said, don't go rushing into it just for that purpose. But ideally, if you're trying to maximize money, that would be the way you'd probably have to try to try to go. Dual military makes pr pretty darn good money. So you do the math on that as far as what that would turn out to be with one individual getting full pay BAH, BAS, other person getting full pay BAH that or BAS for the for the food and then half BAH for the housing allowance. Experiences can vary, right? For individuals out there that have maybe more questions, maybe you want to share some of their experiences with, you know, other bills that they have that they have to kind of account for. You want to comment some stuff down below, drop some comments down below. If you don't have anything that you can think of to comment, I don't care. You should just leave your favorite emoji. You look into your keyboard or whatever and find your favorite emoji or maybe even uh, maybe tell me some random story about something or maybe a random fact. I don't know. I like I like to read about random facts sometimes. So leave me a, leave me a random fact. So whether you join the military, join the army or don't join the military, I don't care. It's up to you. I'm just trying to provide you with knowledge to make a good decision to decide, you know, if joining is right for you, or maybe you're already in, you're trying to decide, was it a good idea to join in the first place? Did I make a mistake type of thing? That's what I like to do here on this channel. I don't benefit at all, whether you join or don't join. My benefit comes from you watching my videos. So if you're here watching it, thank you for watching the video, whether you intend to join or don't intend to join. Make sure you hit that thumbs up for me and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. I'm Christopher Chaos and I'll see you next time. See ya. Now, if you want to know what the pay scale is for 2024, you can check this video out right here as I go over the pay chart for 2024. And if it's after the year 2024, well, just go check out my channel because I probably have a 2025 one, 2026 one, whatever year it is. I probably have a video that outlines that pay chart.